Thank you for watching News 8, awarded Best News Operation for the second consecutive year. The Franciscan Sisters here in La Crosse are best known for their around-the-clock prayer known as Perpetual Adoration. But it's not the only thing inside St. Rose Convent that has received worldwide attention. Inside the beautiful chapel, there are more than 100 rare stained glass windows, and they are getting a much-needed facelift after more than a century. News 8's Lou Hillman and photojournalist Kirk Arneson have the story. Step inside the chapel at St. Rose Convent and you'll be amazed. Beauty lines the inside from floor to ceiling. But keep looking and your eyes will undoubtedly be drawn to what lines the walls. I know the windows have a warmth to them and a brilliance to them that you don't see in any other windows. More than 100 beautiful stained glass windows highlight this sanctuary's brilliance. They were handcrafted at the Bavarian Art Institute around 1900 and then shipped from Munich, Germany to La Crosse. Sister Mildred Tigges, the lead tour guide at St. Rose, says the groups of windows tell different stories. And it goes through the 18 windows with symbols of the Passion. It's very Franciscan. Experts say the pieces from the Bavarian Art Institute are some of the finest examples of stained glass in the world. That makes them literally priceless. But for those who have never seen them, they have never seen anything like it. And our, tours, our tour people will say, oh, look at those colors, look at those colors. And, you know, there is nothing comparable to that. But take a really close look and you'll see the windows are wearing down. Not the stained glass itself, but the lead framework and cement that hold all the small pieces of painted glass together. And without strong lead and the strong cement, we had windows that were starting to buckle and bow a little bit and it started to crack some glass. Bob Johnstone is in charge of making sure all the windows can survive another 100 years. The sisters hired his company, Old Hickory Stained Glass, to restore the windows three or four at a time. The process starts with very carefully removing them from the chapel, and after a century... Here we go, it's coming out. Some of the windows can be a little stubborn. There it is. But when they finally do come out, the wear and tear is quickly apparent to Johnstone. Kind of fl flimsy when we take them out. Uh, the lead has lost a lot of the strength, you can see. After a few hours, this batch of windows are all out. They are then packed up and sent off to Johnstone's shop for about one month. And that's when the real work begins. It's removing it or taking it apart, cleaning it, scraping the glass, letting it into the windows cementing it, and all that is work that has to be done carefully so we don't break any more of the glass. So part of doing stained glass is just learning how easy glass breaks. The first step is taking a rubbing of the window and then numbering all the pieces of glass. Both will make it much easier when the windows are put back together. Then it's time to start taking it all apart. I mean, it's cracking right there that, you know, when I bent that, it's already had a crack. New lead wouldn't do that. It's still real pliable. Bob's assistant, Holly Horning, walked us through the restoration process. Usually, she'll find several pieces of glass that are cracked. You know, this will be a one that's a candidate for being glued. John Stone takes the lead on gluing those pieces back together. I'm just going to apply just a little bit. He uses some electrical tape and plywood to make sure the glass is straight. It will then take several days for the glue to completely set in. That crack will almost completely disappear. And you won't hardly see it at all. Meanwhile, all the other pieces of glass are getting a long overdue cleaning. They sit in warm water first, which makes it easier when the team starts scraping off all the old cement. Each step has its own challenges, and the pieces of glass are always at risk of being damaged. But that's part of the way this restoration goes when we're doing this caliber work. We actually take a deep breath, slow down a little bit, and try to learn how the windows are going. When it's finally time to start putting the windows back together, the team takes the rubbing to use as a framework. The pieces of glass are put into their correct position and then wrapped in brand new lead. The lead can be shaped to fit exactly around the stained glass pieces. So I want to keep exactly on my lines, like I can see this line that my next piece of lead will go there. Once all the stained glass is back in, the lead pieces are soldered together. 
The last major step is re-cementing the window. The black cement is poured on and lightly brushed in. Then a chemical substance is applied on top. The process is known as whiting. This will help uh, draw the oil out of the cement and help harden the cement. After about an hour, Horning takes a pointy tool and scratches out the excess cement from the lead channels. It's all then vacuumed up off the window. It will take roughly a week then to completely dry and harden. And so when we re-let them together and solder the windows and cement them and brace them and put them in, that carriage framework that holds the glass should last for about 100 years again. Finally, after almost a month of meticulous work, the stained glass windows are ready to return to St. Rose. One last clean, and they go back in with the same care that they were taken out. To take them and bring them into our shop here and work on them and restore them and put them back in nicer shape than they were, it is quite a privilege. The sisters at St. Rose say it's all about maintaining this chapel's beauty and their hope for the windows 100 years from now? To be just like they are now. I expect they're going to be just as beautiful. Reporting in La Crosse, with photojournalist Kirk Arneson, Lou Hillman, News 8. Really tedious and intricate work, but what a payoff. Yeah, I can't believe it only takes a month to do a couple of windows like that. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of work. Yeah. Though. All right, well, also, you know, it will take at least a decade for all of those windows to be restored at the chapel.